Hey friends, I am going to share 10 important tips about church live streaming for your congregation to have a better church service experience online. So stick around and watch the rest of the video. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Rodriguez. I am a singer-songwriter, worship leader, and one of the pastor ng Amin Church, Avenue of Grace Ministries. Welcome back to my channel, and if this is your first time to be here, I encourage you guys to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be able to watch tutorials like this the first time I upload it. Whether you already started live streaming last year or nagsisimula ka palang na gumamit ng live stream sa inyong church this year, this video is for you, so let me share to you 10 tips that I've learned along the way when we started to live stream sa aming simbahan. Tip number one, by now you should be using a streaming app. Some of the churches I saw na nagla-live stream sa kanilang service will just grab their phone, go to Facebook, um, video the pulpit and just click the live button sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube. Well, this will work for your church for sure but for you to be able to level up your church live streaming experience, guys, I encourage you to use a live streaming app. A streaming app. Dahil video ang means ng ating service today, lalo na ngayong ECQ at merong pandemic. It is very important to level up the quality ng ating mga video para mas maging interesting ang ating mga video sa mga nanunood. So, the streaming app that we are using is called OBS. Ulitin ko, OBS. And maraming churches ang gumagamit ng app na ito. OBS, it is a free, okay, good news. Ito ay free and open source software for recording and live streaming. At ito ay available sa Windows, sa Mac, at napakabilis lang na ma-install ng app na ito. And this allows you to show the slides and lyrics ng in high quality. You can also use this to have um, multiple camera views na iba't ibang angle na video. Medyo overwhelming lang ito gamitin sa umpisa pero napakadali nitong matutunan. At meron akong separate video on how to set up OBS for your church live streaming. The link is on the description below or click the link above to know more about this video and how to set up ang OBS para sa church live streaming. Tip number two, I call this pre-service. This is an important part of your live streaming service. So bago magsimula ang inyong Sunday service proper, magbigay tayo ng 10 to 15 minutes na or, or less na time para may chance na makakonect ang ating mga members. And alam nyo guys, this is all the time that you can let them share yung live stream link for other people to join. Sa OBS, you can set it up and place the announcement or pictures of your members while waiting. Anything, your, your vision and your mission, any videos that you want to share before the service, you can put it here sa pre-service. You can also put a countdown before the service starts for your member to know whenever the service is starting na. Put a pre-service sa inyong live stream. Tip number three is to use the best phone as a camera. Yes, you've heard it right guys. You can always use your mobile phone in replace in your mga webcam and DSLR if you don't have a DSLR, which in fact, not all churches have uh, the budget and this gadget. So the best thing to use is your mobile phone as a camera. Alam niyo ang mga resolutions ng camera ngayon ay napakaganda na and pwedeng-pwedeng gamitin natin for our live streaming sa ating simbahan. All you need to do is to find who among your members have the best camera and ask if you can use it sa ministry habang Sunday service lang, di ba? As long as iingatan mo, right? So, you know guys, your members ay nagaantay lang na ma-involve sila sa ministry. And your members wanted to be involved. Tandaan niyo po yan. So, try it. I made a separate video on how to um, use your mobile phone as your church camera. Um, ch check the link on the description below. 
or the link above to know more how to set up your mobile phone as your webcam for the church live streaming okay so may camera ka na the next tip is number four find the right angle some of the pastors na nakikita ko or people in front of the camera ang angle nila ay nakatungo that means yung camera nila ay nasa baba at ang nakukuha sa kanila ay yung parang top, top view ng kanilang muka Maybe that is because they are using laptop webcam. Well, alam you guys, that is not, not the best angle for you. I suggest na i-angle mo yung camera sa, or mobile phone sa eye level. Sa angle na yun, mas maganda na view at mas, mas maayos, mas presentable ka kapag nasa video. So, number four, you need to find the right angle. Tip number five is framing. Some of the pastors ay minsan nagla-live sila na naka-portrait. That means naka ano, taas, katayo yung camera. First, that is not a good frame for video. Next is, well, if you will look sa Facebook Live ng ganun yung framing mo, there are spaces na sayang kung hindi mo magagamit. So I suggest na when you live stream to your church, make sure na naka-landscape mode ang inyong mga camera for better quality video presentation. Alright? The type of framing that I usually are na ginagamit are half body shot like itong ginagaw, nakikita nyo ngayon or a full body shot na kita simula ulo hanggang paa. If nasa stage yung nagsasalita and siya ay naglalakad sa stage kapag nagpipreach just make sure na if gagalaw yung speaker ay makakapture pa rin yung buong katawan niya sa frame at hindi siya lumalagpas sa screen. Framing. Number six, you also need to fix and make your camera stable. You can invest by buying a tripod or any stabilizer. You can also DIY, do it yourself by putting your camera on a shelf or in a pile of books. Pag patong-patong nyo lang yung libro, nagyan nyo ng kalang sa likod ng, uh, sa likod ng phone ninyo hanggang sa nasa tamang angle kayo. Siyempre, hindi naman maganda na kapag nagla-live stream kayo ay gumagalaw-galaw ang inyong camera. Nakakahilo yun panoorin. So, I suggest na mag-invest kayo or gumawa kayo ng paraan just to stabilize your camera para hindi siya shaky. I know guys, you can be creative kung paano ito gagawin, right? Before we continue, I would like to invite you guys to listen to my original song on Spotify. Just log on to your Spotify account and search my name, Michael Rodriguez, and listen to my songs. Available po yan sa lahat ng digital platforms dito sa YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, at marami pang iba. Also, I am encouraging you guys to listen to our church original song. We recently released our Tagalog song, Ikaw Lang Ang Dahilan and Ako'y Lumalapit. And our church first album, I Surrender, is also available on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, and all digital platforms. And guys, you are free to use this sa uh, inyong mga worship time sa inyong simbahan. Alright, so tip number 7, and this will be your background. If you are just preaching at home or worshiping at home, make sure to remove anything that can distract in your background. Anything, kahit yung mga maliliit na bagay that can be distracting sa video, tanggalin nyo po iyan. Clean your house and use it as your pulpit. If you have a bigger room, I suggest that you position yourself uh, with a big space as your back. Ang mangyayari dyan, this will make your background blurry and can help you have a depth of field na tinatawag. It's like separating you from the background. Dahil mabublur siya at ikaw yung focus So, you can do that guys if you have a big space. Pero kung maliit lang yung space ninyo, you can just remove all the distractions sa video. Or you can also buy a plain green cloth at gamitin siya na parang green screen and then removing it sa processing ng OBS. You can do that by going to your sources, right click to your video capture device, your video, and click on filters and click the plus sign or add and then chroma key click ok and then and then piliin nyo yung green and then just adjust the the levels of this one to your desired um, 
process. Tip number eight is maximizing your preaching by using a slideshow. And this is the best thing why you need to use a streaming app. You can always put your slides uh, beside on the, the videos or the preacher. At mas malinaw itong makikita compared sa video na kuha lang directly ng phone sa inyong pulpit. So I have a video on how to set up your PowerPoint presentation and OBS and how to sync them. So click the video on the description below or click the link above to know more kung paano gamitin yung slideshow sa OBS. Tip number nine, speaking or singing in front. Most of the preachers or worship team na first time sa live streaming ay nakoconscious pagdating sa pagpipreach or pagganta sa harapan ng video. Right, mahirap naman talaga na magsalita or kumanta na video lang yung kaharap mo. Right? But always remember at the back of your phone or your camera, you are being watched and listened by your members. So be confident, lalo na word ito ni Lord ang iyong pinapahayag at inaawit. So just relax and speak the word of God boldly. And we're down to the last tip and for me, this is the most important tips that I can give you. So tip number 10, don't forget to pray. Ngayon na hindi mo kasama ang iyong mga churchmates, some of them, I hindi mo alam if they are really listening or they are in service with you, no? So take time to pray for them before you start for the Holy Spirit to move sa bawat members. Alam nyo, wala namang distance na hindi kayang abutin ng presensya ng Diyos. So pray for your internet connection, pray sa mga tools na ginagamit mo sa computer, sa OBS, sa slides na maging smooth ang lahat ng flow ng worship service ninyo simula umpisa hanggang sa matapos. Pray for the songs na mangusap sa mga puso ng mga members. Pray for the word to pierce the heart of everyone. Right? This is the most important thing that you should never forget. And lastly, pray that the pandemic will soon be over for us to continue our physical fellowship. Uh, alam ko na namimiss na narin ang bawat isa. Right? But don't forget that uh, God is in control. He is sovereign amidst every fun pandemic na kakaharapin pa natin. Now that we are in this kind of setup, I encourage you guys to give your excellence, your best, because He deserves it. The Lord deserves your best. Physical man yan or digital service, He deserves your best. Amen. So that's it my friends and I hope you guys learned from this video. So feel free to share in the comment section below the top 1 tips you love and if you have questions or suggestions on the tutorials you need, just let me know on the description below, on the comment section below and I'll try my very best to answer your question or make a tutorial for you guys. Once again, my name is Michael Rodriguez and if you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and Share this to your churchmates or the churches you know at sama-sama tayong magtulungan para maging excellent sa pagbabahagi natin ng word ni Lord. Don't forget also to subscribe and click the notification bell for you not to miss yung mga ilalabas kong video na katulad nito sa future. Thank you guys for sticking around. God bless you, your family, your ministry, your church. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.